My name is Paul Seller and I was born in the town of Appenzell. I was actually first exposed to these mountains as a, a small kid, like three, four, five years old, when my father took me, my father together with my younger brother, uh, especially to the lakes, which we particularly liked mm -hmm. because of the water and the fish. I would say this is an area which is kind of off the beaten tracks. People from other countries, they go to the Bernese Oberland, they go to the Wallis, uh, they go to the Engadin, but uh, not very few people actually come to this area. So it's, kind, it's still kind of uh, untouched and pristine and original. This area makes very uh, special, of course, are the farmers. I mean, they really uh, give this uh, area uh, a special character. And if you listen to the, the sound of, uh, of the bells, for example, I, I mean, I had uh, like quite a few groups in this area, and this is always the thing they mention, the, the bells and the cows. I mean, the cows are more important than anything else in this area. Well, this is a, a century-long tradition. The, the farmers come up here for, for many, many generations. The, most of these guest houses, they were built uh, 50, 60, 70 years ago. Well, some even 100 years ago. I, I know the oldest one is actually built in 1850 and then several around 1900. This particular one was built uh, in 1940. Tourism is important for Appenzell, but it's all done in the summer between, let's say, May and October. And all we can offer our people, our guests, is uh, our, our, our mountains and to get access to these mountains we need good trails. The famous Liesen Grat, Grat meaning a ridge, well that was actually not access accessible to, to the people until 1900 and that's when they actually carved this trail into the rocks and out came a, a, a very spectacular high altitude trail and they of course made it better and better over generations. Actually just a few years ago they met, put new cables in it and it's now a, a, a safe trail even though you have to watch your, your footing all the time. I do enjoy being a guide because I, I, first of all I love the outdoors and I do like to walk with people. It's, to me, it's just much more fun to walk in a small group. But other than that, I, I really like to share the beauty of the mountains uh, and of, of nature with other people. This is true Heideland, actually. Mm -hmm.